guys! Welcome to another episode of Bedtime Stories with me. Today, I want to tell you a story about the fox and the grapes. So one afternoon, a fox was walking through the forest and the fox spotted a bunch of grapes hanging down from a lofty branch. So the fox thought to himself to say, oh, just the thing that I need, you know, I'm so thirsty. So after taking a few steps back, the fox jumped and tried to grab hold of some of the grapes and he failed. So he tried again, you know, he took a few steps back and then he took uh, a big leap and tried to reach for the grapes and again he failed. Finally, after trying several times, the fox finally gave up and then he turned around and he turned up his nose and he says, they are probably sour grapes anyway, I can do without them and then he walked away. So the moral of this very short story, my friends, is that it's easy to despise what we can't have and it's easy for people to despise what we have that they do not have. So if you have people that is discouraging you around you, is discouraging your efforts, if you're feeling puzzled why some people are against you, this could be the reason why. They could be like the fox who tried really hard to get something you have but they don't. Think about yourself like the grapes. You are just hanging there, chilling, flourishing and growing well. But because the fox cannot reach it, the judgment of it is, oh, those must be sour grapes, it mustn't be good, right? So uh, be very careful that others do not pass, pass negative judgment on us just because of their own inability to do whatever that we are doing. So we also need to contain our own environment that uh, understand that people may despise us because of their own issues with themselves and has nothing to do with us. Some people may even act passive aggressively to mask whatever insecurities there are within them. So do not let that affect you. I chose this particular topic mainly because uh, in, in some of my coaching sessions, this has been a consistent topic that came up. They feel demoralized, they feel uh, discouraged because their loved ones, sometimes even their closest friends, are discouraging them against doing something. Sometimes when it's with reasons and uh, give them the benefit of doubt, we can also ponder on those opinions. Sometimes those opinions may be out of love, out of concern and genuinely uh, uh, there to support us. But oftentimes, when people uh, criticize and despise us for no reason and we find that it's irrational, not logical, then they may just be the fox who couldn't get the grapes and is bitter about that. So my friends, something for you to reflect on today. Do you have foxes around you? Do you have foxes that is trying to achieve what you did but couldn't and is trying to put you down? Do you have these foxes that pass judgment and think that the grapes are sour, think that you are not good, think that your effort is not worth it? Be mindful of the foxes that you have around your life. Yeah. So, before we end every episode of Bedtime Stories with me, let's do the regular gratitude exercise. Think about a moment today that made you feel truly grateful. And then think about the people surrounding that moment. It could be your family, it could be your friends, it could be someone virtual or even your pets. And silently say thanks because for whatever else that have gone wrong today, you always have that one moment that you are grateful for today. So have a good night's sleep. I'll see you tomorrow in another episode of Bedtime Stories with me. Bye!